I'm really sorry about the last episode. We had a technical issue. Um, mid midway through the episode, and I didn't notice it. Uh, so I was, uh, I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. So I've lost quite a lot of the playthrough. Well, not not a lot, but a lot. I lost a bit of the playthrough. Um, so what happened was, I think when we lost, when the video stopped, we were. Um, over down here somewhere fighting looters so we're over down here somewhere fighting looters and I went all the way up here well I went down there first and then I went all the way up here and round about here somewhere here I found a bandit base a mountain bandit base and there was like I think two or three mountain ba mountain bandit parties running about here so I killed them uh, went all the way up here sold the loot because I was desperate for money at that point then uh, I went back and I looked for more bandits but there weren't any which is really unusual usually there's always like five or six there must be really good security in this in this place um, and nonetheless uh, I found one more party I think and I killed them uh, a very small party and then I went back to Bergen to try and think what I was going to do next because I need the Renown I need to get Renown up the Renown is very low at the moment um, on my way back to Bergen Voss had a quest and the quest was to destroy the bandit base which wasn't really what I wanted I was hoping for a chase bandits party uh, quest but yeah you get what you get um, so I took the quest and I went to the bandit base and there was no parties again so I just destroyed the bandit base I got an immense a, a tremendously good loot from the bandit base uh, I got what well, I'll show you uh, it will still be an inventory I got uh, this legendary spiked battle axe which I sold for about 6k or something and I got the Masterwork Jagged Spear, which I sold for 4k or something. In total, I got like 12k worth of loot. And I bought a few things. Uh, I got some clothes for this guy, for Ivan. And um, that's about it. That's all, I, that's all I bought. I didn't go really crazy. Uh, but what I did buy, because I had the funds, was a Snitcher. So we have a fleet a small fleet oh let's give it a name uh, so the red griffin is the name of the fleet actually uh, cancel that rename fleet griffins and let's call him i don't know uh, uh, i have no idea what i could call him <laughs> Let's call him Buck. And you know what? If you have any ideas, any suggestions for names of ships, please leave them in the comment and I will happily use them uh, for future ships. Okay, so we're going to England. We're simply going to England. We're going to find. A lot more bandits over there I hope I hope um, oh yeah I forgot to say also we spent a wee bit of money recruiting a new guy look at this Byzantine Anglo Varangian Guardsman look at that his nice shiny lamellar armor <laughs> nice helmet they look really cool I'm really happy I found them he was in Bergen waiting for me oh um, should I go back to Gothenburg and recruit the Jones Vikings? Yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that. I'll do that before I go and uh, go to England. You know what? I'll win less renown. True, true. But I just like those Vikings. I've never had them before. I really want them in my party. They're kind of the sole reason why I decided to actually do this. Um, playthrough of Mercenary Only. I, wa I really wanted the uh, Jones Vikings. 
I wanted to see how many I could collect in a playthrough, how many I could get. So if I can get some now, I'll take them. Are they still here? No, they're gone. Wait, where are they here? Where were they again? Oh, I think we're just going to have to pass. I can't remember where they were. Well, we've got money, which means we've got a bit of time. So let's have a rerun about Scandinavia again for them. Good thing is I might find some in England too. Must be in Uppsala. Oh, I have to cross the whole map again for it. All right, I'll cross the whole map. Oh, you may not hear me that well with the, the volume. I'll turn it down a wee bit. There you go. I haven't even checked the episodes that I've been posting so far. Um, in regards to sound and that. Oh, mountain bandits. Oh, interesting. Where'd they come from? Oh, yes, yes. Where did they come from? Where did they come from? Where did they come from? There must be a mountain band. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Do we have the quests for them? She saved me a wee trip to England. Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay, okay. We'll come and clear that before we leave. Oh, there they are. Okay, we can't take them on just now. They're just too strong for us. They're just too strong for us. But uh, we can maybe oh well I suppose they've been quite good so far alright I think we've lost the Vikings the Jones Vikings I think they're gone I think they're gone we shall find them later on in the game hopefully and that's a shame man I wish I could have recruited them there and then but they were just too expensive Okay, let's attack them. <laughs> I've only got one infantry guy who's hanging about. Uh, I don't think I'm going to use him. I think I'm just going to leave him behind. Ah, you know what? F1, F3. F1, F3. All the way. Under my command! Give him hell! Give him hell. There he is. Nice one. Nice one. Alright. Where are they going? Okay, focus on the cavalry first and then and infantry. Alright, doesn't make sense, but okay. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, bye bye, shield. Come back here. Oh, he's gone. And we've won. What was that? 1.4 and on. Okay. So, on average, I'd have to do like 40 battles to actually get the Renault, and I need to go to Clan Tier 1. Not to worry, not to worry. <coughs> so for nine K speed is quite low, but then again we just did a battle, so it must be at about seven something just now. Mm, there's nine of them. No quests though in the villages. Where's your harmless? Where's his harmless travelers? No, you're not. 
We are a bunch of lazy, stinking, thieving mountain bandits. On my command! <laughs> Attack! I say that when, you know, I never ago I was thinking about raiding a village. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the cavalry this time, okay. Ooh, here come the Javis. Ooh, god, that heart. 22 health points. <laughs> oh, that heart. Oh, and they all came for me as well. Okay. <laughs> Where are they? Come on, come back here. So not at all. I stopped this charge. Oh, that's a shame. Um, in Bannerlord, cavalry is really hit and miss, um, especially when it's not RBM. With RBM it's a bit better. Oh, oh no, I don't like him being alone there. Oh, what is he doing? Fight? Fight for the mother? Everything is good. Fight, my man. You cost me a lot of money. I'll expect you to fight. Jesus. Yeah, cavalry is just, I don't know. What can they get upgraded to? Ooh, ooh, interesting. Okay, good to know. So I'll take that. What have we got here? Yes, why not? Oh, and I'm, I know what you're thinking. Oh, there's no way. He's lying. He didn't actually find that mountain base and all that. That mountain bandit base. The, the configs or whatever uh, to, to get extra cash. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't and I can prove it uh, in two seconds. This, as soon as this is loaded up. Um, come on. Come on. Okay. So quests, uh, bandit base near Vols. There you go, there you have it, that's proof, okay? Oh, and I got free key for it as well, I forgot about that. So yeah, uh, so bandit base near Vols. Vols is here, the bandit base was there, just like I said, or somewhere around about here. So there you go, I didn't lie. I've, unless there's like a command that can actually add quest lines, in which case it's not real proof, but. I I don't think that would exist. I don't see why that would exist. I don't see the point in that config, in that uh, command, console command, I mean, sorry. There's not much point, but I'll do it because I've chased them. Yeah, I was really hoping for those village quests, but there's none. It's kind of annoying because we bought that ship, 8k, and we don't even need to go to England anymore. Probably. I could take them on my own easily. Easily. One down, three to go. Two down, two to go. Three down, no, two down. No, three down. <laughs> Uh, that's us. Zero thread on. <laughs> uh, 0 0.8. <laughs> yeah. Um, here we go. I think that was about all the parties that were here. Maybe there's two or three more. Uh, I wonder if I'll find another bandit base before I leave Scandinavia. I mean, I'm going to leave Scandinavia. I'm not going to stay in Scandinavia. Um, I might come back later on, um, but I'm not going to stay in the same place, especially seeing as we've already went around all of Scandinavia once. You know what? I'm not even going to do this one. I won't bore you with it. Zero lost. There we go. 
too much loading screens. I don't usually do that, but if people are going to watch this, I don't want them getting too bored either. That's a bit better, there's eight of them. Still a one-sided battle, still a pointless loading screen, but um, hey ho, you get what you get. Just having some refreshments. Drinking from the bottle, as you do. I don't do that in front of the kids, but when I'm on my own, yeah, just get the bottle out. Saves the glass getting dirty. It's not alcohol. I don't. I don't drink alcohol. If you must know, what I'm drinking tonight is some Iron Brew. The Iron Brew is a Scottish drink. Uh, soft drink, Scottish soft drink. Uh, it's kind of like lemonade. It's fizzy. Don't know how to describe it. There's nothing quite similar to it in the world, I don't think. I do recommend. Some people like it, some people don't. That's just the way it is. It's very popular in Scotland. In fact, now unless this has changed recently, in Scotland, the number one bought drink is Iron Brew instead of Coca-Cola like in other countries. Now that might have changed though. It might have changed because they've changed the ingredients of Iron Brew. They reduced the sugar content. Uh, which I quite like to be honest. I don't think it needed that much sugar in, in the first place but um, yeah some people might not like that and that may have changed the, the amount of sales that they've made in Scotland. I don't know. <coughs> but nonetheless still a very very popular drink in Scotland. A lot of people drink it and so do I. I'm really waiting to get to Clan Tier 1 um, so that things become interesting. Nearly there, halfway there, halfway there. It would be good if we could get a wee quest line to destroy the bandit base before we leave. Oh, here we go. That might be ours. The Art of the Trade. So, the Art of the Trade, I used to do them, but I stopped doing them because. I can't even remember what they give you. It costs you money. It costs you money, the art of the trade. Unless you go and sell it somewhere far away and make some money. Um, so what it was, if I remember correctly, is you buy something from them and you go and sell it and you make profit from what you've sold, hopefully, if you sell it far away. Um, I used to do it. And you win maybe some charm or something. Um, I used to do them, but I've stopped doing them. I just stopped doing them um, because they're a bit pointless really. It's not that much money, it's not that much charm, it's kind of a waste of time really. A waste of space in the inventory as well because you always forget to sell it, <laughs> or I do at least. Alright, let's go and clear that bandit base. Hopefully we get the same loot that we got in the previous one, that'd be really nice, 10k. I wouldn't say no to that. We got about five renown for it last time. Uh, so I'm expecting we'll get about four maybe this time, seeing as we got a few extra guys with us. I don't know, we'll see. At least clearing a bandit base, I suppose, from the viewer's perspective, it's a bit more exciting than uh, than those uh, playing field battles against four bandits. <laughs> oh, come on. 
Yeah, here we go. Oh, he got me. That stone did three damage. That's quite a lot for a stone. Usually it's like one. Oh, they're already down there. Okay. Is that the Varangian? Yeah, that is. Varangian Guardsman. Oh, wow. That axe did some damage. So now, axes, um, axes, swords, any swing weapon with RBM doesn't do as much damage as it does in vanilla. Just so you know, in case you don't. Uh, the weapons that really do a lot of damage in RBM are um, spears, thrust, any thrust weapon does quite a lot of damage. Uh, to a point that it's kind of OP, really. And blunt. Blunt damage is quite good with RBM as well. So maces and all that. Um, yeah. So when you're recruiting troops, if you wanna if you wanna be as effective as you can with your troops, go for spear troops or blunt damage trips like maces or whatever try and avoid the swing ones try and avoid the sword ones I know they look cool but in reality they, they're not as effective as a good old spear <laughs> he's just gone he's just gone for it He's just making making himself worth the money that I spent on him. Now he must have cost like a thousand gold coins to recruit. Something like that. Like a thousand fifty if I remember correctly. He was quite expensive. Quite expensive. For just one trip. I mean we recruited like three or four of those guys for a thousand odds. So yeah. Yeah. I don't regret it though because he looks cool. It's cool to have a ranging guard. It'll be really nice once I become a king. Who knows, maybe I'll become the king of... of... Uh, Constos... Consto oh, I'm too tired. <laughs> of Istanbul, right? Istanbul. I'm not going to take the chance of fighting a duel. I didn't do it in the previous one either because of the low armor that I've got. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say I don't fight duels with brigands. Uh oh, I did choose the duel. Oh, thank goodness, I got that hit. Okay, okay. Wow, that was lucky. <laughs> Only three of them on. Mm. Okay. Loads of prisoners, Norse peasants. No, I cannot. I cannot take. They are not mercenaries. They do not come in my party. Mm. Yeah, they're gonna go for like one point five k, one k. That's gonna go for like five hundred. That's gonna go for like three or four hundred. Yeah, it's not as good as the previous one. Definitely not. Ah, guy, you get what you get. Now I'm wondering, I'm wondering if since we came all the way up here, is it worth going a wee bit further north to hopefully find some sea raiders? Because sea raiders, now that is lucrative. And they're quite easy to kill as well. So, that would be good. That would be good. I might be dreaming, maybe wishful thinking, but I think I'm going to go and check just in case and uh, you know what I'll sell some hogs as well make some extra dinars might as well since I'm there Ramon 30 okay why are they so slow overburdened really and prisoners okay That's funny, I would have thought that way would have been shorter. 
especially with the forest or faster at least maybe I should have taken the boat maybe I should move the boat where can I go I don't know these towns can I move it from there all the way up here that would cost a lot of gold and all and I don't have that much yeah I think I'm just going to leave it down there what's in the tournament tug of the boundless horde mm, no I'm okay banners are not really that useful to me Now, I remember correctly, those are the ones that these guys, yeah, so Abgesessner writer must be foot knight or whatever it is. Yeah. Four of them for 1.2k. I'll think about it. Let's sell what we've got. See how much money we have. Should I put this on? Nah. <laughs> I mean, I should really. I should, but nah. <laughs> oh, okay. Sell the fish. Sell the fish. Keep the fish. Keep the fish. Keep the fish. Keep the fish. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. Not bad, 14k. Not bad. So, riding's up, scouting's up. Time to put up steward. So, if I put a point in steward and I've got enough money and I've started to have enough men, now it makes sense to buy food. Yeah. Uh, so, we've got grain, we've got fish, some butter. Cheese. And also, at the beginning of the playthrough of the game, of any game, uh, there isn't that much diversity in regards of food and towns. So you have to go to a lot more towns to actually find the food that you need for Stuart. So, again, another reason why not to start with Stuart. Okay, let's go and check if. Should I get those guys? Should I get those guys? Mm, I don't know, 105 already. It's a lot of money. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll take them. Because they are good. It would be a shame not to have them. Oh, did I sell the prisoners? Yeah, I did. Okay. Overburdened? Well, because I've just got that much food. 78 days worth of food. Okay, that might be why. <laughs> I'm used to having like 50 guys at this point, or 25, or whatever it is. Or 25, yeah. <laughs> you need a lot more food usually. So that's an advantage, actually, with the mercenaries. You need less food. That is the, the big advantage of using a smaller sized party as it costs less than food. That's why in some playthroughs where I, where I try and go role play rather than rather than efficiency, um, I like to yeah, I like to um, put my army into garrisons when it's not wartime so that I save money on food. It's a bit stingy but you know saves you a lot of money, saves you some food, saves you a lot of hassle. Just store your food, store your troops and use a smaller party to do whatever it is you want to do when you're not at war. Yeah, there's no, there's no, there's no sea raiders here. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's go back to Uppsala and sell the hogs. I forgot to do that. Might as well do it. Give us a wee bit of money. Mm, 
I wish I could take them. <laughs> uh, 98, nice one. So, okay, so 2.5k, alright? Alright. So we've made 500 gold coins. That's not bad, especially when it's at the beginning of the game. Now it's a bit, you know, it's not that much really now that we've got 26k in the bank. But at the beginning of the game, that 500 gold coins can take you quite a long way. Because bear in mind, at the beginning of the game, if you're alone or if you only have like five or six guys, your party cost is like what 20 gold coins. So. Right, where is that fleet again? Kongahala. Let's go then. Let's go to England. There are no more bandits here. And look at how huge it is. And I've only found two bandit bases. It's massive. Whereas England, you can get one bandit base somewhere up here, another one down here. In Ireland, you can get one. Um, not too sure about down here if you get any. I don't think so. Not that I know of, at least. Not in my experience. Seventeen guys. Can I still ride this night channel of seventeen guys? Yeah. Okay. How much is the capacity? Twenty-five. Yeah. It says speed twenty-five, but it's actually. It's actually capacity, troop capacity 25, crew capacity 10. Just a wee, a wee bug. Nothing major. Nothing that has to be changed urgently. Doesn't stop you from having a good fun time. Yeah, thank you Lemmy for this map. Uh, I don't say that enough. But yeah, that guy has done a lot of work put a lot of work into this map a lot of love so much love into this map and we couldn't have Europe 1100 without him or other mods that, that use this map so, so yeah thank you so much Lenny if you, if you ever watch this video in any case thank you for this map really love it really love it played hundreds of hours on this map if not thousands There's no bandit base here. Have we just got this unlucky playthrough where there's no bandits whatsoever? Usually there's always forest bandits here. What's happening? What is happening? This is so long. <laughs> Still got 20 points to go. 21 points. Oh, looters, no point. No point. Are we overburdened? I forgot about that. All right, let's go sell the food at York. We won't make any money from it, but we. Oh no, I forgot. Buy horses. That's just stupid. There we go. That's much better. Obviously, buy horses. Like, I don't know why I didn't buy horses earlier. Just tired. I've been working a lot lately, in real life. I mean, in a, in a real job. <laughs> Uh, this this isn't work to me. This is pleasure. I wish it was work. I wish I could uh, do this as a job. Get paid for it. That'd be amazing. So, yeah, get watching people. <laughs> Subscribe, like. <laughs> I 
that would be really cool if I could get paid to play Banner Lord that would just be <laughs> epic <laughs> But no, I have to go and do part time job. Yeah, there's nothing there. What am I going there? Well, mm, nah. None here as well? Come on. Not even one wee bandit base. crafting materials. I've never even done that quest and I don't intend on doing it. It sounds tedious and boring and not worth it. <laughs> There's no bandits. There's just no bandits on this on this game. <laughs> oh I gained a level doing nothing. Brilliant. George. Okay, Scout City Pathfinder. Thank you. Now, if I'm doing something wrong, if you think I'm making a mistake, if you think you've got some information that might help me with my game, please leave it in the comments. Please. I will take any constructive criticism. Used to be sometimes. Oh, I found one. How did it spot it? Yeah, this is one Siri does, isn't it? Yes, yes. That's, I was just about to say that. Usually there's Siri does on that spot. Well, sometimes, not always. Not not usually, sometimes. That's the thing with uh, bandit bases, it's just about luck, really. It's just. Depends on. I think it depends on the town security. The lower the security, the higher the chances there are of finding a lot of uh, bandits. We've got no quarrel with you. Well, maybe we could get some mail. That'd be nice. I really need a better horse. <laughs> uh, I'm just a bit greedy. I'm just waiting for a horse to appear in the loot. I mean, at this point, maybe I shouldn't buy a horse. Ugh, I suppose it's only like 500 gold. Done. How much? 1.1 and 1. Okay. Okay, so we need to kill 25 parties to get uh, Clan Tier 1, roughly. Okay. No, 20. Okay. 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 I'm losing my sanity at this point. Just thinking about the 20 battles that I have to do to get to Clan Tier 1. <laughs> uh. Oh god. <laughs> Actually 40 loading screens, because this counts as a loading screen I'd say. Alright, I think I'll uh, end this video here. And start a new one. Just I like short videos because they're faster to upload on YouTube. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna stop it here. I mean it's a 40 minute.